The Mim is alive with the sound of music, and people of all ages are coming in to listen. Today's performance comes from Sule Wilson, a longtime performer and collector of these African thumb pianos, also known as Sansas. I was surrounded by African cultural stuff when I was young, and the, in, the, the sound was in the world when I was, when I was coming up. Sansas are the subject of the MIM's latest exhibition. More than 200 Sansas from all over Africa fill the Target Gallery room. Some resonate better than others. Each one with their own unique story. These things are instruments that communicate, uh, you know, our reality with the reality of our ancestors, the great-grandfather, the great-grandmother, the people who made them before, the person who taught you how to play it, the person who taught you how to construct it, the person who taught you how to tell a story and communicate effectively with people. The exhibit opening had a little something for everyone. Lessons for those wanting to feel the music, right on their fingertips, and guided tours for those more interested in the design of the instrument. Mark Felix is a longtime collector and contributor to the gallery. Because they teach me a lot about evolution, not only in time, but evolution also in space, meaning how, how designs change geographically as we move from one area to the next. Sansa will be showcased in the MIMS Target Gallery until October 1st. Ticket prices and information can be found on themim.org. For Newswatch, I'm Dylan Abrams reporting.